so today on our five over five segment it's so sad that politicians will do anything including taking the kenyans right to health care just to force them to register as voters here is the case yeah governor coronel rasanga has ordered denial of medical services to patients who have not registered as voters in public hospitals run by the county government rasanga who issued the directive on sunday claimed the move which constitute a violation of the right to health care will help the county to meet its target of 107,000 new voters what does the constitution say about this section 43 says that every person has the right to highest attainable standard of health which includes the right to health care services including reproductive health care the Sangha say the new directive will also target residents who have attained 18 years but have not acquired the identity cards in a bid to encourage eligible persons to register amid the dismal performance in the ongoing announced continuous voter registration exercise. Is this even right? The announcement was greeted with you and cry as locals noted voting is not mandatory and nobody should be forced to register. Bernard Otieno, a human rights activist, said it is wrong to deny people fundamental rights like health care because they lack a voter's card. Rasanga granted the county workers a two-day break beginning Monday, save for those who are offering essential services to mobilize eligible residents to register. You mean all other services in the county should be posted just to force the residents to register as voters? Rasanga's move came in the wake of similar interventions by Kisumu County Government and the Kisumu County Assembly. Governor Anyang Nyongo gave workers a two-week break to mobilize voters, while Assembly Speaker Elisha Oraro gave workers 10 days of duty to go and persuade unregistered residents to enlist. What if they register and fail to vote? Think that our leaders are taking this too far. That was our prime five out of five with me, Rida Karim Chibet, from the editorial board that brings to the authoritative and now the most watched bulletin that airs Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. And on weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday at 9 p.m. A big thank you to everyone who made this possible, including the camera people, reporters, and the editorial team, and also including you, our esteemed viewer. Enjoy the rest of the broadcast.